Hi everyone, um, I'm just here to do a really quick MDs video because I'm about to go on vacation and I really want to go ahead and get these things cleared out. So I decided to go ahead and show you guys what I used up in the past two months. I think it's really important to do MDs videos because it shows what people actually use until like the last drop. So that's why I find it really important that I always do my monthly empties. And this is really January and February empties, but who cares? So like I said, it's going to be a really quick video because I have to go to work in a few minutes and I really wanted to get this filmed before I went on vacation because if you're like me, I'm kind of weird. I like to like have a perfectly clean house before I go anywhere because it's just nice to come back and have this wonderful immaculate house. I don't know. After you've gone on vacation, like you don't want to come home to a like dirty, nasty house. So that's why I do that. I always just clean my house before I go on vacation. It might be weird. Does anyone else do that? Let me know in the comments down below. So the first couple things that I have to show you guys are from Mario Badescu, and these are actually things that they sent me for free, and not because I'm like famous or anything like that, because I'm definitely not, but you can get them for free if you go on their website and you take a little quiz. They'll usually send you a big old packet of free stuff. The first thing that I have is this pre-shave conditioner, and it was okay, I guess. It was a really cool, like, clear blue color, and obviously you can't tell now because I've used it up, but um, it was supposed to help you have like a closer shave and all that. I couldn't really tell a difference, um, but I really only use it with the Mario Badescu shaving cream, so maybe that's why I, I don't know. I just, I don't think it's something I would spend my money on. And the next thing I have from that Mario Badescu sample package is this um, Mario Badescu shaving cream. And I mean, it worked well enough, but it just clogged up my razor really bad. And I kind of find that with a lot of like shaving creams that come in this kind of packaging, like in pots like this, or just anything like that, like Lush shaving cream, it just clogs up my razor. And I just don't find it worth my time because I'm usually shaving in somewhat of a hurry. So that's why I don't think I'd go back and buy it again. And the last item I have from that Mario Badescu sample package is this cucumber cleansing lotion, which you may have heard me talk about before. Um, it is just basically a toner and it smells really nice. This used to be like one of my go-to toners. All of Mario Badescu's were, um, but I've started recently getting into lush stuff, like after I used up these. So even though I don't really use these anymore, they were my holy grail for about a year and a half. So if you're looking for a new toner, definitely try out Mario Badescu. It has a great line and they're fairly inexpensive. And so speaking of Mario Badescu toners, I told you that I used them for a year and a half and this is another one I have that's empty. It's the aloe lotion toner and I know lotion doesn't sound like it's toner, but anytime it's like liquidy, that is going to be a toner. This is my favorite. It smelled so good. It didn't have that like really disgusting, like sterilized hospital kind of smell. It just smelled really nice and was really gentle. I have very sensitive skin and this worked out really well for me. So if you are going to try a Mario toner, I would try this one first. So I was basically Mario crazy for about two years and that's why I have so many of these empties is because... These are just like a lot of my staples that I finally used up because I try to make all my things last. I don't really like to use products up very quickly. Um, so the next product that I have is the Hyaluronic Eye Cream from Mario Badescu. And I really liked this. I felt like I could really tell a difference in my under eye area. And I know that I'm like younger, so some of you be like, oh, how could you even tell a difference? You don't need eye cream. I just could. I just could. Now I don't really expect to be repurchasing this just because I think I want to try Lush's Enchanted Eye Cream. However, I did see that it was sold out on their website, so um, I'll let you know what I decide to do for eye cream. Right now I'm using Murad's, and it's okay, but it's a little too thick, and I don't really like the way that it feels when I rub it in. It's just too thick for the under eye area, so I'll let you know. The next thing that I have is from Mario Badescu as well. Wow, shocker. Who's shocked? Raise your hand for shock. Um, this is the Vitamin A, D, and E Neck Cream. Um, I got this because it was just, like, it was on Ulta, and I was already making a huge, huge-ass order, and I was like, oh, that's new. I've never tried that because it was new at the time, and I went ahead and got this because I do have, like, texture issues and, like, discoloration. Like, you can even see right here, there's, like, some discoloration. I don't even know, like, what that comes from, but, yeah, so I went ahead and tried this out. It was super moisturizing. I think it's more for people that have, like, saggy necks, but I quite enjoyed it. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to buy it again, but I really liked it. 
Okay, so the last Mario product of this video, I know that's like so many that I used up, um, but it's actually the Glycolic Foaming Cleanser, and I had two of these empties this month because I ran out of another product, so I had to use these um, these smaller sizes. I just don't like to hoard a lot of like little bottles, I like to run through them pretty quickly, and yeah, I have some for travel, but I just have way too many. I don't go on enough vacations to justify having 30 of these small bottles. So yeah, this is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. It worked so well. It was clear, and it looks like a very tiny bottle, but it did last me at least like two months, probably because I was alternating with another one, so it lasts about a month. And it goes on, like, it's like a very gel consistency, um, but whenever you rub it into your face, it foams up really nice, and it just felt so amazing. This is something that I would really consider repurchasing, um... I don't know, it just, it was really nice, especially for the winter months. My skin has been extra dry this season, and this is just, this is awesome. So yeah, I probably will repurchase this. Now, this is from Anthony, which a lot of you know that I am crazy for Anthony, and this came in a, like, a gift set kind of thing, and this is the glycolic facial cleanser as well. I knew it was glycolic because it was the same thing as the Mario thing, and these are what I have been kind of alternating between the last two months. This one just didn't do it for me. It had an off-putting smell, it was like white, and it never really like lathered up very well, it didn't really disperse very well, I had to like really rub it into my face to like get it covered, covered, you know what I mean? Like I was just rubbing, rubbing, it would like clump up around my nose and everything, it just didn't seem like it did very much and I don't know, it kind of irritated my skin too, like all around the beard area, I would get like irritation and stuff, so... I love Anthony, everyone knows that, they donate to prostate cancer research, but I will not be repurchasing that product, I just can't even recommend it, it was not good. Now that I've thoroughly bashed Anthony's glycolic facial cleanser, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the thing that brought me to their brand, which is this amazing shaving cream that they have. It's the only shaving cream that gives me a close enough shave with my really coarse hair and does not thoroughly irritate every pore on my face. Um, and I think I've already shown you another empty of this because I do run out of it pretty quickly and it is pretty expensive. I just think it's worth every penny and I actually already ordered more. I'm using up my travel size right now and it's like breaking my heart. I'm going to have to order another travel size or something. But um, yeah, so that's the Shave Cream by Anthony. And I haven't shown it to you yet because yeah, I definitely like really dug in there and had to get it all out. Like that's how much I love this. I got it open. And the... So yeah, if you think that I am being paid to say that, you can just tell that to the scissors that cut this bitch open. And just sort of continuing on with shaving, like, products. I ran out of my staple, Nivea. Um, a lot of people use this for makeup priming now, but um, what do you know, it still works great for what it's made for. Shaving. It has a really pleasant smell, it has a really great consistency, it moisturizes the skin, it doesn't leave you irritated, it makes your skin even softer. Am I going to repurchase this? No. But do you know why? Because I already have an entire stock of these. And this is my staple forever. You can't even really see it. Purity Facial Cleanser. It smells amazing. It's so good for sensitive skin. It's good for all kinds of skin. Good in every season. Good all the time. God is great. Purity is great. I already have two more bottles of this, so I don't have to worry about repurchasing. I got some from my mom for Christmas, and she loves it, so I have not found a new one that hates this yet. I recommend it to three of my best friends. They're all using it now. Philosophy, you can go ahead and head up my bank account, because I am making your stocks rise as we talk. Okay, we still have, like, five more empties, and I don't know why. I, I, I mean, I guess it is two months' worth of empties, but a lot of these are, like, staples that I use every single day, and they all happen to run out, like, around the same time, which is really weird, but that's just how it happened. So another one that I have to show you guys is Miles of Smiles by Lush, and you guys know that I am all about toothy tabs now. Great for traveling, great for having a perfect amount, you don't have to squeeze too much, because they come in little, little toothy tabs, you know what I mean? If you haven't tried these yet, you really need to give them a try. Don't try anything crazy or you're going to hate it, I guarantee you, because this is like the minty flavor, and a lot of people don't even like this, okay? It's just because they're not willing to give it a chance. So you've got to give it a chance. Start off with this or dirty, and you'll probably love it. It's like a bath bomb for your mouth. Seriously, I'm com completely converted to these. Um, 
I just love them. I'm using the dirty now, and I actually like them better than this, but Miles and Smiles is pretty good. So the only other Lush empty I have this month is the Lord of Misrule Shower Cream, and I actually got this off of a D stash on Instagram, and you can go ahead and check out that video. It's my $50 Lush haul, um, but I had never smelled it before, and this is the big size that they were selling, and it was my favorite color, green, and I heard so many great things, and I heard vanilla and patchouli and black pepper, and I was like, oh yeah, that smells amazing. So I went ahead and bought the big bottle. I tried it, and... I know this is going to be wildly unpopular opinion, but it smelled like paint. That's what it smelled like. Paint. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just the combination of black pepper and patchouli, but I was not getting any of the sweetness from the vanilla. It wasn't warming with the patchouli that I'm used to from like karma or scents like that. It just smelled like paint. I used it for probably two weeks solid in the shower, showering every day trying to get myself to like it and my mom literally thought that there was like that my bathroom was like molding or something because of the smell that left in my bathroom it was just awful i know a lot of people love it and so that's why i gave it away i gave it away to one of my best friends because she said that she might like it i gave it away on an instagram giveaway um i just gave that away as best as i could um, I used it the very last little bits in some bath cocktails because it does work well with other smells, but as far as like going into the shower and using that as your shower cream, no. I mean, I have a small bottle now just to like have it because I feel like as a Lush collector you kind of have to make sure that you've got that, but not repurchasing until that small bottle runs out. That small bottle will probably last me at least a year. Okay, so one of my huge staples finally ran out, and that is the Redken Clean Brew Shampoo, and this is just a really nice um, citrusy kind of smell. It has like some malted smells in there. It smells really amazing. It's like a clear amber color, and it's great if you use product in your hair or if you have a lot of buildup. It just really thoroughly cleanses. I think I might start using it like once a week or like once a month maybe. Um, just using it a lot less because there's a lot of solid shampoos from Lush I want to try and I have other liters of Redken that I need to try so I don't know. This has been my favorite shampoo for years and years so I'm not saying it's bad at all. I'm just saying be careful if you have like sensitive hair or dry hair or brittle hair. I, I don't know how it would fare with those things, but with oily hair, it went really well. This is my, like, all-time product. You know, if I could have, like, one product forever, it would be this one. And it's the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This is amazing. It's just amazing. I don't know what to say. It is. I know it's expensive, but for what it is, it's really not expensive. It, um, it has SPF 30, so it's a good sunscreen. It blurs fine lines, wrinkles... Pores, it, all of that, it just, it keeps you matte, it's so, so good. I can't say enough about it. I already have another one of these big sizes, and I always take this everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I have it with me. I mean, not to work, but like, if I go on vacation, I'm taking this with me. Does that make sense? I mean, it's my number one item of all time. If Lush could make something like this, I'd be really interested to see if it compares, but so far, I keep coming back to this. Alright, it's time for my last empty of the month, and this one is a little bit funny. Um, I've had it since I graduated high school. We have something called Project Graduation, and you like play games and stuff, and you stay up all night, and it's to keep you from like going out and partying and getting drunk. And my best friends went with me because in high school we were definitely not the kids that like went out and like got trashed or anything like that. So we were there. But anyway, it's a really long story to show you that my empty is this Aeropostale cologne, which I'm not even sure if Aeropostale is still open. And if they are, I would be surprised if they still make this. But I won, or you win like tickets at the project graduation thing, and you can redeem them for prizes. And so. I had like a ton of tickets at the end of the night and a lot of the good prizes have been bought up so I bought like all the shower gel and like laundry detergent and cologne and like deodorant things like that that I would know that I would 
you know, need for years to come. And so this is literally the last bottle that I have. <laughs> and it's six years after that night. So, um, yeah, I just use this every day. And I actually really liked it. It had a very light scent. It was kind of citrusy. Um, I mean, it wasn't dreadful or anything like that. I just think it's funny. Um, that Aeropostale, I don't know. If you know what Aeropostale is, you might think it's funny too. But yeah, I finally used up my last bottle of that. So I'm moving on and using an even more embarrassing one um, that I'll show you guys whenever I run out of that. You'll have to wait and see. That one's much more embarrassing than this one. All right, guys, I know that was super quick and it might have been a little bit rough, but I'm about to go on vacation and I just needed to go ahead and get these things off to the recycling bin. That way when I come home, I don't see like a shelf full of empty containers because that would just really be not cute to come home to. So anyway, if you have any questions about any of these products, you can ask me in the comments down below. Um, a lot of these are my day-to-day -day staples. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're not, I hope that this video made you just a little bit happier. Make sure to like and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram, Lush Lord, same way it's spelled here. I'll see you guys next time. But I did want to go ahead and get rid of this. I mean, I didn't want to get rid of it. I just wanted to film this. I'm just going off that, Lord of Misrule um, shower cream.